Hi, welcome to a new workout. Today we're going to do a basic cardio workout. Uh, it's an easy way to get your steps in today. You don't need any equipment, so get ready and let's go. Okay, here we go. We're going straight into the workout. You don't need a special warm up because uh, we're starting slow, um, so it's not a high impact on uh, your body. So just starting with a march on spot, and most of the time we do the march on spot also in a warm up. So no special warm up needed today. We're going to add the steps in. It's all stepping, standing exercises. A great way to have your cardio. We do 20 different exercises, so no repeating sets today in this workout. We do 10 exercises and then we have a short break and then we do a round two, we do 10 different exercises. First of all, march on spot, we do every exercise 50 seconds on and then a 10 seconds active rest. And then in the 10 seconds active rest, we also march on spot. So first time, 60 seconds of marching, and then the next exercise. So make sure you move your arms along during all exercises. The next exercise is a side tap, shoulder tap. So just make a side step and tap the shoulder. So arms are going up, and there we go. Make a side tap and touch the shoulder. Up, side to side, and when you go to the side, just tap the shoulder. Keep your arms up, make sure your upper body is straight up and your knees are slightly bent. Left and right, touch your shoulder, up, we do 50 seconds, then 10 seconds march on spot to go to the next exercise. Make sure you make big steps, side to side, touching the shoulders, keeping the arms up. 10 more seconds, and then you may lower your arms down. Come on, final seconds, keep them up. And lower the arms down, march on spot. And the next exercise you're going to do is a heel tap in front. So we're pulling the toes up, tapping the heels to the floor. And when we do that, we curl our arms. So get ready, tap the heel and curl your arms. Bringing the fist towards your shoulders, up. And when you tap that heel into the floor, slightly bend that standing leg, go down just a little bit. Keep your upper body straight up. Pull your belly button in. So just a slight knee bend, not too deep. And press the heels in front of you. Right, left, and keep curling your arms. 15 seconds left. Heels down. Right, left, come on, power in your arms, curl them up, fist towards the shoulders, and the last one, march on spot. The next exercise is a V-step, so we're stepping out wide and small, back we're alternating right and left, and we bring the arms out and in, just follow me, left side, out, out, and in, and now right. So left, left, right, and right. Arms are going out and in, and when you step in front, go down just a little bit. If you don't go down, just stay up, step out wide, and small back. Choose your option, or go a little bit deeper. More challenge for your legs. And arms out and in, out, out, in, in. That's it. 10 more seconds, go down, come up, wide and small. Last one, come on up and march on spot. Stay active, keep making those steps, don't stand still. The next one is a double low side step. So come onto the side a little bit, we're going down a little bit, and then just make a double step and curl and extend your arms. Bend over just a bit, not too much, or just stay up, whatever you want. But try to bend the knees and go a little low. Double, 
Double, from side to side. Pull that belly button in, keep your back straight. 20 seconds left. Come on, curl and extend your arms. Double to the right, double to the left. Just a few more, and to the left. We finish on the right side, and march on spot. That's it. Halfway in the first round, the next one is across behind. We swing the arm, so come on, follow me. So you tip and cross, one leg behind, and swing your arms over from the left side to the right side as well. Standing straight up. Of course, your knees are slightly bended. Do not lock your knees. Make a big step to the side and then cross the toe behind. Swing your arms with power to the right, to the left. On your own pace. Hop, right and left. Keep on swinging, 10 more seconds. Swing, and the final ones, and march on spot. Next one is a high knee. So what we're going to do is we tap the knee, open the arms, and tap the knee. Come on, left side, hop, up. So it's a march on spot, but now we're lifting the knees up a little bit higher. Our upper body is straight up, shoulders straight above the hips. And open your arms, and when you lift the knee, bring the hands inside, and tap it. That's it. Tap your knees. Up, left, right. Come on, lift up high. Tap it, tap it. Up, arms in and out. Final seconds. Come on, lift up. High knees, final ones, and that's it. March on spot, stay active. The next one is a low tap, and we're pulsing up. So we go down and tap it, there we go, hop, tap it. Tap it, tap it. So when you go down, you tap as far to the side as you can. You don't have to go deep. Just a knee bend, a little bit, pulsing up and down, tapping to the side. You can stay up, tap your legs side to side, and again, arms are moving as well. Up, up. So come up and down, really working the legs, getting the heart rate up, and getting the steps in. Final seconds. Right, left, tap to the side, and that's it. March on spot. Just two more exercises, and then we have a break. The next one is a front cross kick. Come on, right kick, left, right, left. So twist in a little bit. Hips going from side to side, and you kick. And swing your arms over, right and left. Kick, kick. Engage your abs to pull that belly in and twist. Twist with power, working your core as well a little bit. Up. Cross kicks. 20 seconds left. Come on, steps and kick. Step and kick, kick. You don't have to kick high. Just kick with power and twist in. Up. Final five seconds, and then we're going to march on spot again. All right, now marching, and the final exercise of the first set is a twist in step. So we're twisting in, twisting in. Follow me, left side in front, up, and twist. So you're marching out, make that twist, that's it. All right. Left, two, three, right, two, three. Yes, that's it. And when you step in front, bend that upper body to the front side as well. Right, left, 
right, just marching, and you step and twist. Don't think about it, just twist in, keep on marching, keep on moving. Final 15 seconds, and then you have a water break. Come on, bend that upper body to the front side. Twist it in. Last one, and that's it. Very well done. You finished the first round. Now make sure you drink some water, and then be ready for the second round, 10 different exercises. Okay, here you go for the second set of exercises. The first exercise we're going to do is a march three times and the fourth we lift a leg up. First the left and then the right. So come on, march on spot and lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. That's it. Up, up, up. So marching and lift, lift. Come on, upper body is straight up. Move your arms up. And you don't have to lift really high, just a lift enough to feel that in your legs to get the heart rate up a little bit. And we wanna get those steps in today. Lift, march, two, three, lift. 10 seconds. And then marching on spot. Final lift, hop, and march on spot. That's it, nine exercises left in this workout. The next one is a back tap, and we raise the arms in front. So, okay, ready? Right, left. So your knees are slightly bent. You just tap that leg behind you. And when you do that, raise your arms up and chest high in front of you. Upper body is straight up, pull your belly in. And of course, knees are slightly bent. Upper body straight up. And pump those arms up and down. Get the heart rate up. Up. And step it back. Step it back. Come on. Big tap backs. No small moves. Come on. Back. Up. That's it. 10 more seconds. Raise your arms up. And the last one, that's it. March on spot, stay active, get your steps in. The next one is a grapevine. So we tap, cross, tap, and step. Over from side to side, so come on. And tap, step, cross behind, step. And move your arms along. Big steps, come on. All the way from left, to the right side, cross behind, knees slightly bent. That's it. So step, cross, step, tap, step, cross, step, tap. That's it. 20 seconds left. Make them big. Hop. And arms are moving along. 10 more seconds. Cross it. Crave finds. To the right, to the left, we can do one more. And march on spot, that's it. The next one is a front, tap, hop, back. Front, tap, up, there we go. We start with right, so right, tap, left. Right, tap, left. Hop, halfway we're going to switch, tapping left and tapping right, so step right, tap. And when you tap in front, go down a little bit. Step it. Five more seconds on this side. Last one. And we switch. Stepping left, tap right. Left, tap right. Go down. Go down, come up. Front, down, up high. That's it. 10 more seconds. 
step in front and back up go down come up one more and march on spot the next one is a leg curl move what we're going to do is we pulse the arms back and while we do that we curl the legs so come on left side hop up open your arms bring the shoulder blades together lift your chest up while you make that pulse hop curl that leg try to kick your butt that's it upper body straight up and open your arms come on bring your hands back shoulder blades together working your arms upper body as well a little bit hop come on get the steps in 20 seconds left curl your legs bring the heel up left right left and 10 more seconds come on open and close your arms move with your whole body final ones and that's it march on spot and we're halfway in the second round so five more exercises you're doing great the next one is just a knee opener march so what we do is a knee opener march open one two three open open so you lift the knee up bring to the outside make a march on spot and then over to the other side up when you open the knee upper body is straight up march open open up two three that's it just lift the knee bring to the outside and march up two three up two three you've got it just a few more seconds up two three and up two three one more and just a regular march on spot stay active don't stand still in this workout the next one is an in and out march so we're marching out and in out and in so right left left right and when you can go down low just a little bit when you're marching out and come up high of course move your arms along so out out in in out out in in left and right keep your upper body straight up so do not bend over up straight up and lower the butt down just a little bit if you can out and in press the knees out go down a little bit 10 more seconds great effort out out in in and all right and that's it march on spot three more exercises the next one is touching the heels in front of us hop tap so come on tap it tap it and just twist it up your body in a little bit from side to side so a torso twist tapping the heels so bring the knee up a little bit to the outside and that heel to the inside so you can tap it but try to keep your upper body straight up just twisting from side to side so do not bend over to tap those heels up straight up and lift the knees that's it 15 seconds come on twist in and tap the heels hop left right five seconds left last one and march on spot that's it the next one is a double side step and we put cross pull so cross your arms step 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 that's it just a regular side step double and cross pull cross pull with power knees are slowly bent upper body straight up come on pull with power up that's it 20 seconds left come on make big steps two to the left two to the right and cross pull cross power 10 more seconds double 
to the left, to the right, final ones, we finish to the right side, and that's it, march on spot, over to the final exercise, and then we're going to do a couple of stretches. The next one is stepping out. Come on, follow me. Just make a side step and bring the arms up into that V shape. Hop. When you tap to the side, slightly bend that standing leg. Hop. And pump those arms up. Start jack steps. That's it. And it's the final exercise. So come on, powering those arms all the way up all the way down and keep making those steps don't stand still don't quit yet 15 seconds left and up tap it out final ones and left right tap it and the last ones that's it okay just march on the spot and focus on your breathing so slow it down really slow it down Lift your chest up and just take a deep breath in and out. And now what we're going to do is add an arm circle. So breathe in and out. Arms are going down and in and out. That's it. Great. We do just a few more. Lower that heart rate down and out in and out one more breathe in make yourself long and out that's it okay now just shake out your legs standing straight up just kick and shake kick and shake up a few more kicks and shakes, releasing the tension out of your knees, your ankles, your legs by getting those steps. So come on, final shakes. And now we're going to rotate the lower part of the legs. So don't lock your standing leg. Just keep your knees still and make rotations with the lower part of your leg. To the inside, find your balance. If it's hard, just grab the wall or the table, doesn't matter. And over to the right leg. So weight is on left, find your balance, rotate. Try to hold your knees still and just make that rotation with the lower part of your leg. And to the inside. That's it. And feet are going on here wide. Knees, uh, hands are on your knees, and what we're going to do is we rotate. Try to bring your heels off the floor, toes, so you make that rotation, you feel it in your ankles, your knees, and a little bit of your hips. So whole lower body is rotating from left to right. Rotate. And reverse those circles to the left side. Make them big. Feel that in your ankles, your knees, releasing the tension. That's it. A few more. And the last one. That's it. Okay, shake it out. Now we're going to stretch our quadriceps. So find your balance. Grab your left ankle if you can reach. Then bring that heel towards your bed knees together and then try to bring your knee back your hips forward till you can feel that stretch on your quadriceps the front side of your leg that's it just hold it a second and feel that stretch stretching it up just pull the knee back if you can feel it press the hips forward make sure you feel the tension that stretch on the quad and then release Kick it out, over to the right side, same exercise. So knees together, press the hip forward, and that heel is pulling towards your butt. Upper body straight up, and then just feel that stretch. 
Hold it. Don't lock your standing leg. Keep it slightly bent. Final seconds. And really shake it out. Okay, final kicks. And then we're going to give ourselves a well-deserved massage. So make sure you have your uh, weight on your right and release the tension and that weight on your left. Lift your heel off the floor. Just make sure you wiggle your leg, releasing the tension, and then place your hands on your above your knees on your quadricep and just shake up and bring your hands down. And one more time, up and down. And now we're going to do that same on the right leg. So bring that weight over to left, toe on the floor. Just a few shakes to release the tension. And then there we go, massaging. Wiggle, shake your leg, bring your hands up and down, and down again. And that's it, final shakes. And that's it, you finished this workout. Give yourself that well-deserved thumbs up. You did a lot of steps today in this basic cardio workout. Let me know what you think of it. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, put on a notification, follow me on my socials, invite your friends. Just a lot of work for you. And I hope to see you next time in another workout. Bye.